Right, well I wasn't going to film anything on the pistons or doing the piston rings, anything like that because there's plenty of content online already for this. Um, but I will show you quickly, just for one piston, uh, exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going ahead and doing each set of rings first. So I've named this number one. So this will be for piston one, ball one. So each one of these obviously represents where it's going to go onto the piston. And it also tells you what sequence they need to be fitted. But what I also need to do is make sure that the end gaps are right. So using Haynes, um, so we're looking at the top compression ring. So I've got the 2.5, five cylinder, so it's between 0.25 and 0.45. So I've got two little feeler blades there from my feeler gauge set, um, already set out, I've got 0 0.25, 0 0.45. And uh, we'll see if this ring because this is the top one. We'll see if this one uh, is within tolerance. So I've cleaned the bore already. So let me go uh, shove that in and let's have a look. Right, so I've got the, the piston ring in there. You can see it's in there. Halfway down. Um, it's going to be hard. It's because it's dark down here. It's really hard to film without per opening this door and of course, although it's sunny in that, and it's lovely outside, absolutely gorgeous day, this bit here, because we've got this special black roof to kind of, I don't know what it is, to prevent UV problems in the garage, I don't know. But it makes it very dark and very cold in here all the time. So I put the piston ring in. I just squeezed it with the joint at the top, squeezed it, pushed it in, and then just rotated it, and it just went straight in. And then using the top of the the piston, I just pushed it down so it's nice and square. And I can get my feeder blade in there and have a look, see what that gap is. Just got the feeder blade set on the edge very gently. You can see down there. Feeder blade's in there, it's a nice fit. And that's the 0.45. So that's perfect. Let's move on to the next one. Right, so that's the first one done. Second one is 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 millimeters. Service limit one millimeter, yeah. So let's go check that. 0.2 to 0.4. And I'm just putting a little bit of oil on it as well beforehand. So I just checked number two, that's fine. And I need to check number three, which is the, uh, the oil feed one. And that is, well, they call it, it's called the oil scraper ring. 0 0.25 to 0 0.50. All right, let me go check that. Happy days. Right, so I went ahead, I checked the, um, the oil scraper ring, as it's called. Yeah, so I checked that on piston one, and that's cool. So I've marked off numbers two, and I'll go through, do this one, and then I'll go do three, four, five, get them all nice and ready. Right, so I've gone through and done the end gap on all the piston rings. Everything seems fine. Don't have to make any adjustments. Um, you can't rely on them just being perfect out of the box. You've still got to make these checks just in case. So the next job we are going to be moving on to is putting the the, uh, the piston rings onto the pistons. Um, I've gone ahead, everything's been nice and clean now. Cleaned it again and again and again. Everything's spotless. I've got here some new bolts to go in, replacing them. I've got them from uh, Brickworks. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below for Brickworks. I've had a few bits from them, been pr pretty cool. Also, Clark, for doing the old piston rings. Uh, I actually just went outside and tried these with an old piston ring to see how much force you can take to snap them. Um, I guess it depends on the piston rings, but the ones that I tried outside, I opened them all the way up. None of them snapped, but that could be because they're old and worn. And... Uh, yeah, I actually met a lad 
in um, Machine Mark and Clark. Uh, he's a mountain biker. He's got a YouTube channel as well. So his name was Sebastian. And I will leave a link for him down below as well. So you can go check out his channel. Sebastian Hallett, I think his name was. So, yeah. Might do a collab with him and go out and do some bike riding, mountain biking. We'll see. Right, let's get these piston rings installed. I'll set you up, up here. And you can have a little bit of a view and hopefully see what's going on. see the um, where the gaps are on the rings they're 120 degrees apart so you're looking at that 120 degrees so you've got one at 12 o'clock like one at about four o'clock and then one at eight o'clock so that's about 120 degrees each and that's where your gaps should be on the rings on the piston right I'm gonna get the others in get the others all ready and then uh, We'll be fitting them tomorrow. Right, so that's all the pistons. All got the rings on, all ready to go. New bolts, I have got the new bearings to go on there as well so that will all um, be fitted tomorrow when we fit everything I'm, yeah I'll be doing everything tomorrow I'm putting the cam in putting the oil jets in putting the pistons in um, I know I said I wasn't going to upload until the engine was complete but this is like 10 minutes of viewing that uh, I didn't want to put into the actual full full rebuild because I didn't want the full rebuild video being really long. So, um, that being said, try and keep this, try and keep this on a shorter, shorter note. Um, I'm going to go edit this up because, yeah, well, we just got it all done. I just had a quick shower, got myself ready. And then tomorrow, I'm going to get all of the block done. So bear with me while I build the engine and then try and edit it down because I'm just going to get the camera rolling. Um, I'll do a little intro for you tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, look forward to seeing you all again soon. And uh, thanks for all the comments, uh, all your guys' support. It's been absolutely awesome and all the new subs. Uh, appreciate everyone um, from the first to the last subscriber. I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Anyway, take care, stay safe and God bless.